Um, again, this is, it's just a literal equation. They're asking us to solve for y. So a lot of times what I like to do, especially with literal equations, because there's so many variables, it's really easy to get mixed up. What I like to do is circle the variable. And when I circle the variable, what that does is kind of like pins it, meaning I'm not going to move that variable from that side. That variable is going to stay there. Now, all I need to do is look at what operations are being applied to the variable. So anybody want to guess on one operation that's being applied to the variable? Raise your hand. Shayla. And then division. division by what? M. M, right? I forgot your name, man. Emily. Emily. I know your name. Uh, and well, and, But it's being added by 3, so you're going to have to subtract, right? Yeah. So the two operations are division and subtraction. So we need to undo division and subtraction by multiplying to undo division and subtraction to undo addition, correct? And that's all we're going to simply do. So remember, though, when you're solving your two-step equations to use your reverse order of operations. So I'll subtract a 3 on both sides. So therefore, I have y divided by m equals n minus 3. I can't solve that anymore. Circle my variable, because that's going to mean pinned. Then I say, all right, I need to undo division by m. So to undo division by m, I'm going to multiply by m on both sides. Anytime, if I have m times y divided by m, that's going to divide to 1. And then here, you've got to be really careful. This is m times the expression n minus 3. So we need to make sure we put parentheses around that. Because right? if you don't put parentheses, it's not m times negative 3. It's m times negative 3 and m times n. It's multiplied by both of them. So your final answer is y equals m times n minus 3. Ta-da. And that's it. All right, so.